Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to CPU mine Nexus, which uses the ticker Nero um, on your home computer. So I'm gonna be showing you on a Windows 10 system, but the process will be very similar for all versions of Windows. And if you uh, want to use it on Linux or even a Mac, I think there's also a miner available. The process should be uh, fairly similar. So we're on the official uh, Nexus Bitcoin Talk thread. I'll put a link in the description for everything that you need. Um, so from here, if we scroll down quite a long way, there's obviously uh, there's a lot of information on there, um, but sort of a little bit further down than the big graphic, uh, you've got your wallet downloads. Um, I've already done a previous version on the Nexus wallet. So in order to mine, you will need a, a wallet address um, so check out my previous video if you don't actually have a Nexus wallet set up um, you will need an address um, to do that. So if you go down a little bit further you will see that there is the uh, Nexus mining section and then we've got this prime channel which is for used for uh, the CPU mining. So this coin is unique because it supports CPU mining and also GPU mining. It has two separate mining channels. Uh, what we actually want to be doing is uh, CPU mining, but we also want to be CPU pool mining. Um, the difficulty is quite high, so unless you have a really fast uh, processor, you want to be using the pool mining basically to get the best uh, results really. So we're going to be using the Nexus mining pool, and that's the pool. We'll make a note of those uh, details, I'll show you how to set that up. And then we want to be using the Prime Pool Miner. Um, I'm on Windows, it's a 64-bit installation. Uh, most likely it will be the same for you. So we, if we just select the uh, Windows uh, binary, uh, we can download that. We'll just save it and it will go to our default downloads folder. Uh, then if we open up our downloads folder, we'll be able to see the file that we downloaded. And then you can just right click and you can just extract it to wherever you like. Um, I've already done that on a previous install, so I don't need to do that. So this is the actual extracted folder. It's called the Prime Pool Miner Win X64. So if we just open up that, um, you see you've got a few files in there, mostly DLLs, and then you've got this Coin Shield underscore Prime. That is the actual miner itself. So just to let you know that there is, it does actually go under a different name. Um, I think Coin Shield was the original name for Nexus. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's the reason for the the name being the way it is. Anyway, so at the bottom or within this folder, you should see a start.bat file, and this is the file that's actually used to start the miner and also has the relevant configuration. So if we right click it, and then if we go to Edit you should have something inside that looks like this. So at the start, you've got this begin. Uh, you can leave that as it is. And the next part, you've got the coinshield.exe. Then you've got a space. So that is open up the actual program. Then you've got a space. Then here you want to have the actual pool address. So we're going to be using the nexus mining And then you want a space. And then 9549. This is actually the pool address. So sometimes they have a colon here. Um, but in this case it's just a space. Then we have another space and then this part here is your actual Nexus wallet address. Um, so you just basically copy and paste that in there. Um, I've actually already got the Nexus wallet open. You don't actually need the wallet open to run the miner because we're going to be doing pool mining so you're going to be mining to a separate wallet and they're going to pay you a share. Um, but just to show you how it works so if we just create a new address, uh, so we've got the beer fund, uh, we just want to copy that address and we're just going to copy that into this batch file, uh, sorry paste it into this batch file. Okay so that's the address that we're going to be mining to. Then we've got another space and then you can see here we've got this number four. The number four indicates how many CPU threads you're going to be using. So if you have a quad core processor, so a processor with four cores, you could use uh, four threads. Um, it would be best for you to use probably like one thread less than your CPU cores. So if you have a quad core processor, you probably want to use uh, three threads uh, for that. 
Um, I've got a Intel i7, which is a quad-core processor. It's an Intel i7-950. It's a quad-core processor, but it also supports hyper-threading. So what that means for me is that I've got four real cores and kind of four virtual cores. So um, in my instance, I'm actually going to be using seven threads. So it's using seven of the eight uh, cores and leaves one left over just to the four. It keeps your system um, a little bit more stable. You can actually run it on the full um, amount of threads. So sorry, just rambling on a little bit there, but just wanted you to understand that. And then at the bottom, you've just got this go to beginning. So um, that just basically, if it crashes, it goes back to the top. Um, so if we go too far and then we just want to save it as it is. Just going to minimize that. I'm just going to minimize the browser as well. Uh, we can close that now that it's saved. Uh, and if I just uh, double click on it, it will run um, the application. So there's not very much information at the top there, but it just says that it's starting up and it's got our relevant configuration, um, who it's made by, etc. And then it's a uh, what it does is actually generates uh, primes. So as you go down, you can see it's running on each of our seven threads. It starts at zero, so it goes from zero to six. We're running seven threads. And then on this one, the hash rate is a little bit different, and I'm not 100% sure if this is correct or not. So um, take it with a pinch of salt. But on the left-hand side, you have this PPS. Um, and I believe that is the, the equivalent to your hash rate. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. Um, but I think that is the measure of your hash rate but um, like I say I'm not 100% sure on that um, the last time I was using it it's running about 150 um, I've not actually compared it with another machine so I'm not too sure exactly um, how that works um, I can see it's actually going up um, quite a bit now so yeah I don't know maybe you should dismiss that I'll find out and I'll try and confirm how you actually measure your actual mine hash rate um, but just for reference I'm on a i7-950 and um, yeah, it was going um, probably average about 150 or 170 or something like that there. But anyway, it's now mining. So obviously you would just leave that mining and then over a period of time, you will uh, be submitting shares to the actual pool and then the pool will um, split the funds of any blocks that it finds and send those uh, back to your wallet. I'm not too sure exactly how often the actual wallet pays out, but I'd say it's probably um, at least a couple of times a day based on my um, previous wallet transactions. Um, so this was, um, each one of these addresses was for a separate CPU. Um, so this is one uh, was like an AMD machine. So um, yeah, it had a few transactions there. So they kind of come fairly uh, regular. So yeah, if you just leave your CPU mining for the day, um, you should get some Nero coins fairly quickly. So that's about it for this video. Um, hopefully you found it useful. Um, if you liked it, please give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, then just leave those in the discussion area of the comments uh, area. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, okay, thanks for watching guys. Till next time, bye bye.